this chat. So let me just jump right into it, right? How we present, how we show up, it's important. It doesn't matter what the situation is, how we show up and how we present. And yes, life is so much more than how you look and, and how you dress and you know, design of this, design of that. That's not what I'm speaking on. I'm just speaking on regular, regular, everyday stuff. When you get up and you go out into the public, there should be a way that at minimum, you do certain things, right? At minimum. Now, everybody's minimum may be different. One, one woman's minimum may be that she at least has to wear lipstick when she goes out. Another woman's minimum may be that she at least has to wear a bra when she goes out, you know? Um, so everybody's minimum is different. But there should be something that where, where the standards, there are some standards, right? There should be something in you that says, hey, when I go out into the public, no, it's not that I'm trying to impress anybody. It's not that I'm trying to, you know, look this way or look that way. It just says that, hey, I have some standards for myself when I exit my home. Right? It's just saying that I have some dignity about how I show up. And I say that because I was at work a couple weeks ago. And I was in, um, I happened to be in a, uh, I was inside of the, what is that? It's a, like a community health place, right? So I see a young lady and I assume it's her boyfriend. Um, they come in and this young lady, she has on boy shorts. She's pregnant. Her whole stomach out. She got on a t-shirt, stomach out, and boy shorts. Booty cheek side, the dude, he with her. And I'm like, since when dudes gotta be all right with that old lady, uh, 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 even if that's his sister coming out the house looking like that. I am amazed because when she walked past, all her whole booty cheek side, and you pregnant. Why in the world would you want to come into any public? place looking like that so i look around and i'm like well you know uh let me see who else on who else looking like this it can't just be us yep it was just us in that instance and that really did make me feel some kind of way you know and we we're not living in a generation where you could just calmly approach someone and say hey miss lady let me put a bug in here baby you know let, let me talk to you right quick let me you know we're not living in, in, in those kind of times because people take offense to everything, whether it has something to do with them or not. So let, a, let alone when it's something that involves them. Everybody cannot take a, 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 a critique, even, even when it's gentle. Because I try to be as gentle as I can when I'm delivering whatever it is that I'm saying because I know that I'm talking about things that will touch somebody's heart and soul, right? So I try to be easy on my delivery. But sometimes no matter how easy you are on the on the delivery, the, there's going to be a problem because people just don't want to hear what you're saying. And they just don't like the fact that you're saying it. And it, it where do we go then if, if, if nobody can be checked? And I'm definitely one that used to say, who gonna check me at? You know, everybody can stand the checking sometimes if you're not self-checked. If you don't know how to get in that mirror and say, you know what, I'm, I'm coming up short in this area. I was wrong for this, I was wrong for that, I need to do better. If you don't know how to self-check or if the Holy Spirit ain't operate in you, checking you, then that means somebody else going to have to check you. It's no other, it, it, it's no way around it. Somebody's going to have to check you. And like I said, when I looked around, everybody was dressed decent. Everybody was dressed decent. 
the worst I seen was okay a girl may have had on some short shorts but she didn't have a whole combination short short whole pregnant belly sticking out and booty cheeks hanging out she didn't have that whole combination I mean there are things that literally make you embarrassed I mean I'm embarrassed for you even though you don't have enough dignity to be embarrassed about what you have on I'm embarrassed because how you're showing up says a lot about who you are and how you feel about yourself and I feel sorry for you that you don't feel a little better about yourself and I don't know what's going on in your life and somebody could be listening and saying what if she didn't have any other clothes what if she didn't then guess what surely you could have hey buddy could have stayed in the car put on his t-shirt over oh put on a long t-shirt or something over, over there but that wasn't her case the, 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 the truth of the matter is that sometimes we've gotten to the point where we just get up and we just come out in public any kind of way. Everybody knows that boy shorts are for the house. That's something you lounge around in. You wear under clothes or you wear when you go in the bed. Boy shorts is never supposed to be in the public. Now, yeah, we had our times with Daisy Dukes and yeah, people still wear short shorts and all that. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about clearly I'm looking at some shorts that were that were boy shorts that were not supposed to be worn outside of a home environment. And if you don't feel if you don't feel embarrassed by doing that, what else are you doing that you're not embarrassed about? And you may not feel embarrassed, but here it is, you pregnant. At some point, if you don't already have kids, you're going to have to take this kid somewhere. And you're going to have to show up at school, this and that. And a lot of times, you don't realize kids will get picked on because of how you show up. And I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact that I have had people in my family who was offended because their kids did not want them to, 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 to show up. Why? Because they was getting talked about. Their parents was getting talked about and it made their kids feel some kind of way. That happens. And yes, kids can be very cruel. And you can't always, you know, do something about what the kid is going to say. Kids gonna be kids and they gonna say what, you know, the type of stuff that kids say. But don't give them nothing. Don't give them nothing to, to, to say and embarrass your children with. And even if you don't have kids, there should be something in you that just want to show up the right way. It should be something in you that say, you know what? These breasts hang to my knees. If I don't put on a bra, it's going to look a whole mess out here. Let me not go nowhere without not just a bra, the right type of bra. And again, some, some of that's home training because some, some women don't even understand what it is to have on a good bra. Never had one. And I understand that sometimes it's a finance thing, but sometimes it's, it, it's educational thing. So considering that there are, you have so, so much information at your hand right now just by going on YouTube, Googling, it's, it's no reason to not know some things in this day and age right so y'all ain't gonna keep it too long but like i said be mindful especially especially the younger generation my age generation because sometimes man we just we just miss the mark and i understand everybody can have a bad day i ain't sitting on here saying for sure i'm definitely not saying that oh every time i go out i'm picture perfect no i'm not no i'm not but i think in terms of okay if i get in an accident you know if, if, if they have to rip my clothes off well you know I ain't wearing no holy panties no holy bras no none of that believe that and I like to tell women that listen pan panties the cheapest thing you can buy so why why do we hold on to them ugly period drawers and, and, and holy ugly old uh uh your period 
Your drawers ain't even got to be ugly. We we adopted some, some 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 bad habits through the years. Like, yeah, no, panties some of the cheapest things you could buy. Ain't no reason in the world for you to have no 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 panties that got stains in them or uh, uh, holes in them. Listen, get in them drawers right now. You hear me? Soon as you finish listening to this, if you got any drawers with holes in it, I don't care if it's a pinhole. It's no reason for it. Panties too inexpensive for us to to to. to have any type of panties in our drawers that don't look up to par. Bras, now they cost a little more, especially if, if you big chested like I am. But even those can be purchased reasonably. Right? You ordering offline, ladies, I always tell y'all, hey, size size up if you ordering offline, just in case. And then you might get it and, and it might fit better than the size you was about to order anyway because y'all know a lot of times ladies we have this thing in our mind that we don't want to order certain sizes we don't want to go up in size because it listen man we got to get out of that we got to get out of that do what works best for you do it what, what what it don't matter what the size is if it causes you to look better and present better go with it go with it stop worrying about that type of stuff yeah, we, we definitely have to get better at how we show up and how we present. And yeah, the men, they got their issues too, but I'm not a man, so I'm just speaking in love to, to women. Because I just think like, listen, it's nothing, nothing beats us when we show up and we look good. Not, I don't care, listen, I don't care what size you are. Nothing beats a woman that who shows up and, sh and she's well put together. She don't have to have on designer nothing to look good, to present well. It doesn't matter where she's going. And no, I'm not telling you to get, you know, all dolled up to go to the laundromat. This, this. No. But even if you throw on a pair of tights and a t-shirt, you can still look decent. You can still present in a way that you don't look like trash. And for women, I was always told that if you're single and you looking for a man or you want a man, every time you, you dot that door, you need to be looking decent. If, 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 if you're looking to, you know, have a mate, you know, so I don't know. To each their own and, and I can't make nobody do anything, but I can encourage you to just be your best self. That's it. And I think a lot of us that's why we, 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 we drop the ball when we stop showing up with our best. My best may not be as good as her best. Her best may not be as good as my best. But if collabor collaboratively, we all show up with our best, it'll make a big difference. It'll make a big difference in how people treat us, how people respect us. Um how they acknowledge us like we we have went too long showing up in a way that seems like we don't care and it definitely ain't all of us that don't care and sometimes you care but nobody could tell that you care about how you're showing up so i just encourage y'all to you know Think about it. Think about it again before you just pop out and, and, and look in a mess. And we all know what a look in a mess is. I understand some people be thinking they look good and they be looking a mess too. But at minimum, how you a bra on, a good bra on. At minimum, you could trade the bonnet for a scarf because you could make a you could make a head scarf look look elegant. I understand why we have on bunnets a lot of time. But you could trade the bunnet for a scarf. And you instantly got a whole different look to you. It's just so many different things that we can do. Simple, small changes that will make big differences. Be encouraged.